the Visualization Toolkit has many features that assist in creating awesome visualizations that are synchronized with your music. Most of the features will be discussed in the following sections, but watch this video for a complete walkthrough. The best feature of the Visualization Toolkit, is that it is only used to create the visualization. Once the visualization has been created, there is no dependency on the Visualization Toolkit which simplifies using the visualization in a performance. Allow me to explain about the applications I'm using for this presentation. I'm using Sonar X2, as my MIDI sequencer. There are three tracks. The background music track, the melody track, and the visualizer VST track. The visualizer VST track is all that we will be concentrating on at the moment. We'll come back to that in a moment. We also have the Visualization Toolkit. And, we will be using GeForce to render the visualization. Within Sonar, we will put our attention on the Visualizer VST track. I'm displaying the track in a view that is called the Piano Roll. On the left side are the names of all the components of the visualization. From bottom to top we have the color maps, the audio sources, the wave shapes, the particles, images and videos, and text messages. While examining the toolkit, you will see a series of tabs, each with a specific functionality. Let's start with the dashboard. The dashboard shows which components are being used in the visualization and allows you to change the visualization interactively. Different visualization engines have different components to control. What you are looking at here is the dashboard for a project using the GeForce Visualization Engine. You can control the visualization from here. Watch as I click around a bit. However, the main purpose of the dashboard is to monitor the commands that are being sent to the visualizer. Watch as I start up the sequencer. You should see, on the dashboard, the various commands sent to the visualizer. The Projects tab, gives you options related to the project. This is where you choose which visualization engine you are using in the project. There are other options on this tab related to the project such as 64-bit operation and integration with the visualization engine. If you decide not to integrate the visualization toolkit with GeForce, then uncheck the Enable Integration checkbox. The Audio Sources tab gives you options related to which audio input is used to control the visualization. There are three different types of input. This is also where you adjust the sensitivity for each audio input. The Albums tab is where you create and maintain albums. Albums will be a collection of songs. The Songs tab contains a collection of songs which belong to the album that was selected on the Albums tab. Also, you may select the type of slideshow that will accompany the song. Just in case you want to add more of a random feel to the visualization. 
Now showing is the flow fields tab. On the left side are all the flow fields that are available to use in a song. On the right side are all the flow fields that you have added to this song. You can add or delete the flow fields that are using in the song with the left and right buttons. The real-time operation checkbox give you even more control over the flow field rendering. Watch as I click around a bit. Now showing is the Wave Shape tab. On the left side are all the wave shapes that are available to use on the song. On the right side are all the wave shapes that you have added to this song. The audio sensitivity gives you control how each wave shape is sensitive to the audio input. Watch as I click around some more. Now showing is the Color Maps tab. On the left side are all the color maps that are available to use on the song. On the right side are all the color maps that you have added to this song. I can't help myself. I just gotta click click click. Now showing is the Particles tab. On the left side are all the particles that are available to use on the song. On the right side are all the particles that you have added to this song. The duration control determines how long each particle will stay visible. Here I go again. You are now looking at the Images and Videos tab. On the left side are all the images or videos that are available to use on the song. On the right side are all the images or videos that you have added to this song. The duration control determines how long each image will stay visible. But videos always play in full, so the duration control has no effect. Here is the text message tab. This tab allows you to add text messages to the song. You may choose the font and size, and replace all fonts with a given name using this button. Here's a quick recap of our walkthrough. The Visualization Toolkit gives you ability to choose which components will be used in your songs. It allows you to create songs and add them to an album. With a dashboard, you can monitor the commands as they are being sent and it will give you control in real time. When you are ready to publish this song to be used with GeForce, click on the Generate button, and you should see GeForce Reload with the changes in its database. Let me try that now. I hope that you have enjoyed this complete walkthrough of the visualization toolkit. Thank you and goodbye.